Here is how you can fix underexposed image instead of Adobe Camera. I'm also going to be showing how you can do the same thing using Lightroom and also using Capture One. Once you open your file inside of Photoshop, it will automatically open inside of Camera. So this is our Camera interface. Now the first thing I'm going to do, if I use the latest version of Camera, just come to your light right here. And under this light, you are going to see your exposure. You are going to see your highlights, you are going to see your shadow, you are going to see your white, and you are going to see your blacks. So this place right here is our high dynamic range. So if you shoot raw, you have more control over your dynamic range if you want to balance the exposure. Now the first thing I'm going to do, looking at this image, you can see it's looking too dark. So just come to your exposure right here and just increase the exposure. And also if you have an image that is looking too bright, you can just come to your exposure and decrease the exposure. So for beginners, exposure simply means brightness. So I'm just going to move this exposure up a little bit just to make the image look more brighter. So just fix it the way you want it. So it's looking good like this for me. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Now next I'm going to do, we can see the highlights right here. So if you feel the highlight of the image is looking too much, you can just bring the highlights down like this. So take the highlight slider down. So typically, I usually bring my highlights down for most of my images. Now we have the shadow right here. Now if I want to open those shadows, I want to make the shadow look more brighter, I'm just going to move the shadow slider up like this a little bit just to open the shadow right here as you can see. So if I take it all the way down, just look at this dark place right here, it's going to be looking too dark. So I'm just going to open it up to brighten those shadow area right there. And also you can also open the blacks to make the black part more brighter and also open the whites a little bit like this. So I feel it's now looking too bright. I'm just going to take the shadow parts down a little bit like this. So let's see our before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. So this is Lightroom and I'm not using the latest version of Lightroom, but basically you can do the same thing with any version of Lightroom you have. So once you open your Lightroom, just come to your develop right here. And on this right side, you are going to see your exposure right here. So the same thing we have in camera, we have the same thing inside of Lightroom. So just move your exposure slider up just to increase the brightness. And also we have our highlights, our shadows, our white, our black, which is the height that I make range. And this is very important. If you shoot JPEG, it's going to be very difficult for you to actually balance the exposure the way I'm doing it right now. So I advise every photographer out there to actually shoot raw. So let me know in the comment section which you shoot. Do you shoot JPEG or you shoot raw? Let me know in the comment section. So I'm going to come to the highlights and just take down the highlights a little bit and open up the shadow like so and also open up the blacks a little bit like this and take down the exposure down a little bit because I feel it's now looking too bright. All right, like this works for me. So let's see the before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. And to see a before and after inside of Lightroom, just click on the slash key and you're going to see your before and your after. Now, I feel the highlight is looking too much, so I'm going to take the highlights down a little bit like so. So, the before and the after. Each eye capture one user like me, let me show you how you can do that. Also, let me know in the comment section, do you use Lightroom, Cabrera or Capture One? I want to know in the comment section. So, I'll come to my Capture One and under my Capture One, I'll come to my Adjust and under my Adjust, I'm going to see my Exposure tab right here. So, Capture One is a bit different from Lightroom and Camera. We have the exposure tab right here and we have the high dynamic range which consists of the highlight, shadow, meters, white and blacks. So for the exposure, you can actually increase the exposure right here with the exposure slider to make the image bright. Or you can use the brightness slider right here. Just increase the brightness slider and it's going to gradually increase the brightness. So the effect is going to be less intense than if you use the exposure tab right here. You can use the brightness if the image is a little bit brighter. But if it's dark like this one right here, just use the exposure and just increase the exposure a little bit. And also you can also use brightness to just make everything blend like that if you want to. Okay. Now we have the high dynamic range. We consist of our highlight, our shadows, our black and our white. All right. So I'm just going to take the highlights down. I like taking the highlights down. But for some rare cases, you can just take the highlights up, which is really, really rare. So I'm going to take the highlights down and just open up the shadow like this a little bit and also take down the whites open up the blacks a little bit like so and i'm just going to scroll all the way down to my levels 
and just move this part inside a little bit and move the black part inside a little bit like this as well. Take down the highlights down even more. And also, if you want to know if your highlight is picky, you can just click on this exposure one right here. It's going to show you if your highlight is picky. So if I just zoom in, those parts that are looking too red, it means the highlights right there are looking too much. But since the highlight on the skin is looking fine, I'm okay with it. So let me just show you the before and after. So click on this before and after right here in Capture One. So this is the before and this is the after. The before and the after. Click on this to show you right here to watch how I retouch this image. I'll see you guys in my next one. Stay creative.